We have uh, quite a highly anticipated game this evening. This is going to be France versus Australia. I am Mother Mercy and I'm joined by the ever so lovely Bulldog. How are you all doing? Alright, it's gotten, it's gotten a little bit dark in here, and you may not be able to tell it from the screens, but uh, there is a lot of shadow on the track, at least from our perspective. I think they're using some high quality film, though. I'm looking over at the feed, and it looks bright the as The feed looks crystal clear. It looks beautiful. <laughs> it's a land of shadows in here, though. Especially as they move into that turn, turn one and two, there's a, there's a big shadow right there, at least from our perspective, so it might actually be easier to look at the monitor. Uh, but we're getting ready to start. This is Team Australia against Team France, a much anticipated bout to, for today, I must say. This is, of course, the preliminary bouts, uh, one of the last few bouts for today to decide the seeding, the placement in tomorrow's uh, proper bracket. So the actual competition will start tomorrow. This is all for seeding. Uh, but this is actually the, the two teams in the in the in the same group that are at the highest level. You know, they're uh, basically. Yeah. I think France is actually the favored in yeah. this game by a little bit, but Australia is not far behind. They have a very strong team. And oh, and it looks like uh, the winner will be facing either Argentina or the Netherlands tomorrow. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, uh, Team France versus Team Australia, uh, probably yeah. the closest match in the, uh, in the initial brackets. Yeah, skill-wise, they're going to be really close. So, lining up wearing a jammer panty for Australia is number zero, Skate Pilgrim. And for France, that is number one, three, Killian David. Jam will be getting underway shortly. And of course, uh, fans of uh, fans of the French roller derby will may also know Killian David as Monsieur Fiorio of Toulouse Roller Indeed. Derby. Uh, but although I believe that he now skates technically with uh, uh, SDR, Southern Discomfort Roller Derby, he but does in this tournament he's skating under his civilian name. Killian David knocked out of bounds on going into turn two, comes back in now <laughs> knocks down his opponent. Who I'll tell you who that is in just a second. <laughs> As soon as he comes out of the shadow. I believe it was Oliver Sutton, who is now going to the penalty box. No, Monkey Nuts, excuse me, number 88. Oliver Sutton is number 8. Monkey Nuts, number 88. David Killian at the back of the pack. Skate Pilgrim for Team Australia gets out of the pack on his initial pass, but does not get lead jammer. David, or Killian David gets out. Completes a scoring pass and calls off the jam for points. So France will be the first team to put points on the board and that will be four indeed. And just to say as well, the loser tomorrow will be playing Team England. Or the loser of this match will be playing Team England tomorrow. And now number 129, Rocket Bush, jamming for Team France in the blue. And Australia in the yellow, number 11, Sausage Rolls taking the jammer start. Sausage Rolls looking for the outside lane, gets knocked down by a big hit from El Gato, but recovers quickly enough to get out of the back. It's a no pass, no penalty, but so not going to the penalty box, but did not get lead jammer. Rocket Bush following behind him gets lead jammer. Now tries to leap across the infield, but doesn't quite make it through. And gets a low block penalty call, and I don't see points being reported. So that means that waiting. I don't see points being reported. So at this point, we it looks like he has not officially completed his first scoring pass. So when he comes out, and oh, excuse me, being sucked back to the back there. Okay, that I didn't see the hand drawing across the chest, which makes it a misconduct. That, that, now, that would mean that he made contact with another skater while he was in the air. That skater not initiating contact, but rather he initiated contact. But now we have sausage rolls number 11 for Team Australia going into the penalty box, and that means we have a jammer swap out. Rocket push now looking to complete his first scoring pass. 
out races Monkey Nuts and Copter. That's got Copter, the other blocker for Team Australia, gets through, gets a grand slam for, for Team France. And Rocketbus still making his way around, Monkey Nuts chasing at. Rocketbus takes a little tumble, gets back up on his feet. And that looks like X-Wing for France is going to the box. That was a five-point pass for Rocketbush there. Coming back into the pack now. Facing a wall of four from Australia. Quite easy to see Australia on the track because uh, of the Damo helmets. That really helps. Sausage rolls back in action. The jammer for Team Australia looking to complete his second scoring pass. But time runs out for Sausage Rolls. He's not going to get it. It looks like a zero from where I was standing, and uh, four more points for Team France, and I believe that's gonna double their score. Yeah. Or no, excuse, excuse me, that's gonna, that's gonna make, bring them up 14 points for this jam. They scored four in the first jam, scored by David, by Killian David, of course, bringing them to 18 points. That's many points. And just to say, this jam is brought to you by Roller Derby City, Europe's largest supplier of roller derby kit and merchandise. And on the track at the moment, jamming for Australia, we have number eight, and that is Oliver Sutton. And he's picking up Lee Jammer, coming out quickly, making his way round France Jammer, on his way round to the penalty box. That right. will be number 1631, the cleaner. So power jam for Team Australia, Oliver Sutton slamming into Big Jim, knocking him down, gets to the front, Maelstrom tries to reel him back in. The Sausage Rolls completing the pass for a Grand Slam. Second scoring pass for Team Australia. Once again, Big Jim and Maelstrom back up by Candle Heroes. Number G4R4. And we just got a score update for the Belgium Team Japan. 241 for Belgium, 88 for Team Japan. So Belgium winning that game. Oliver Sunday running into a little bit of trouble there. Got recycled to the back, but he's made his way back through. He's come up against four for France there. Two left at the front, still trying to fight his way through. France doing a great job of bridging back and making this as hard a power jam as possible for Australia. Not so much taking advantage at the moment. That was uh, Maelstrom, Big Jim, and Candle Heroes. Now a fourth blocker coming in, X-Wing, returning from the penalty box. The cleaner, the jammer for Team France, coming back from the penalty box as well, had to reel way back, brought, uh, recycle, forced to recycle far back by Flaming Gala of Team Australia. Now the cleaner trying to ram his way through Flaming Gala. Flaming Gala and Luke Ritchie working together in, in tandem. Luke Ritchie was standing behind just supporting, but not holding on critically not making a connection between himself, but rather simply providing reinforcement for his teammate. I have to say that Australia have probably had some of the strongest pulls we've seen today. A lot of teams uh, have the superstar Germans that can nip around really fast, but Australia, I think it's all about the blockers. Indeed, and, and now Australia taking the lead for the first time in the game at 19 points, France still at eight points. But now they're Jammer in the penalty box. Oliver Sutton, number eight for Team Australia in the yellow, sitting in the penalty box. Killian David, number 13, returning to the Jammer line for Team France in the blue. Both teams have a full complement of blockers. Killian David now doing a spin, a pivot around, trying to get past HP Shovecraft, does so. Gets past the front guard, that was Rogue and Josh, number 47. Killian just instructing his blockers there to keep an eye on the jammer who is standing in the penalty box. That's number eight, Monkey Nuts. Oh no, I do apologize. That's number eight, Oliver Sutton, who's now going to be rejoining the track. Both jammers now on the track. Scare and X, number X11 for Team France, uh, making things difficult for Oliver Sutton as he rejoins. And now he's forced out of bounds. Team Australia's jammer has to recycle back behind Asselhoff. Not knocks down Slash Gordon as he passes by, but Slash Gordon, a very resilient skater, quickly gets back up on his feet to the front, but all of a sudden, just a little bit too fast, gets past Scarra next and Hygienic to complete his initial pass. But Killian David getting through, completing a scoring pass for four. That puts Dean, excuse me. And 
Yes, Team France back in the lead. A nine-point jam for Team France, so 27 to 19 for the team in blue. I have to say, it took Killian quite a while to get through that pack there. Not quite used to seeing him uh, struggle to get through so much. So lining up for Australia with the Jabba Panty at the moment is Skate Pilgrim. And for France, we have 129, Rocket Bush. Jam is underway. Both jammers going through the middle of the pack. At the moment, France goes for the apex jump, not quite making it. Gay Pilgrim taking advantage, coming round, he's lead jammer, coming back to the packs. France is rocking, but still trying to make his way through, gets out on his initial pass. Beautiful block from Dean Francis Braveheart. Now Elgato drawing Skate Pilgrim far back. Team Australia was down one blocker, but now it evens up as Big Jim goes to the penalty box for Team France. But the jam is called off by Skate Pilgrim. I, I believe he did not, no, excuse me. Looking at the, at the that was the Team France camera. I didn't see any points for Team Australia on no. that one. I thought for sure he got some, but uh, no, it looks like a, no score for either team. Score remains 27 to 19, France. And don't forget, even though we don't see it often, our pivot line is brought to you by GBM's, the only UK RDA endorsed medical team. So both teams continue, still down one blocker. Sausage rolls number 11 for our team Australia. It gets knocked down and out of bounds. And here comes the cleaner, number 16-31 for Team France, not getting lead jammer. Sausage rolls did manage to get lead jammer, even though he immediately was sucked back into the back and knocked down. But he calls off the jam again, no score. So no change in the score. No change in the score. So lining up for Australia, number four, seven, Rogan Josh. For France, we have once again, one, three, Killian David. Both teams with three apiece on the track. Killian David with contact, shoulder contact to Rogan Josh, the Australian jammer right off the first whistle, but Rogan Josh recovers, barely even notices, I think. Oh, excuse me, no, he gets a cutting the track. No. Yeah, that, was, that was after the contact from Killian David. Killian David, the lead jammer, now on the power jam. Doug tries to duck under a hip check from the Australian blocker. No. Killian David yeah. making his way through. He's going to pick up five points for that pass. They certainly love to skate in that shadow. Yep. <laughs> Valley of the Dark over there. But anyway, on the track, Killian David trying to come through again. Just, just manages to sort of hold on but not step back on. He's going to recycle to the back of the pack. Killian David already with five points. Uh, one grand slam on his first scoring pass. Looking for a second one, runs into Flaming Galat, number oh. 80, and then backed up by Son of Skaten. Son of Skaten getting a penalty. I believe that was a low block, uh, but going to the penalty box regardless. Gillian David completing the scoring pass for five more. Ten points total for Team France, bringing the score to 37 for the blue, 19 for the yellow, with just under 19 minutes remaining in the game. So lining up for France, uh, I believe for the first time in this match, we have 1789, that's Braveheart. France also have all four pack players on the track. Australia only have two, bit of a disadvantage for them. But Rogan Josh, number 47, the jammer for Team Australia is standing up, so he will be returning to play shortly after the first whistle. But right now, Braveheart breaks free of the two, the only two blockers on the track for Team Australia, claims lead jammer. But Rogan Josh back in action and instantly surrounded by Blue. But fights his way free, scrambles up the inside lane. Maelstrom trying to catch him in turn three. Knocks him out of bounds, but goes out of bounds himself. And that allows Rogan Josh to complete his initial pass. But Braveheart, Braveheart gets through, completes the pass for four points, now calling off the jam. But an uh, incredible effort by Rogan Josh against the odds, against the back disadvantage. Yeah. And at the moment, the score standing at 19 to Australia, 41 to France. Skate Pilgrim, 0 for Australia, lining up to jam once again. And for France, we have the cleaner. France still have all four of their pack skaters. Australia still have two only on the track. 
Jam is underway. Skate Pilgrim just pushing up against the cleaner. Cleaner goes to the outside, goes to the inside, makes his way through. He is indeed Lee Jammer. No, that's Australia. Australia has Lee Jammer. The cleaner taking off in front. I predict for Australia are either going to try and catch or just going to run some time down, wait for the cleaner to get to the front, empty the penalty box out while they're at it. Team Australia forcing the pace of the pack to a very brisk one. Yeah. And that's, that draws time off the clock enough to release all of their blockers from the penalty box. So that worked to Australia's advantage. No score for either team, but Australia now able to field a full complement of skaters in the next jam. And our penalty box is brought to you by Quad Skate Shop. Your the original brick and mortar roller derby equipment supplier. Quad Roller Skate Shop has the best selection and most stock of any store within the continent with excellent consultation services only a fellow skater could provide. We've got all your needs covered. We love this game. Killian David on the receiving end this time of Jammer contact as Sausage Rolls knocks him down off the first whistle. And now he's going to the penalty box. Back block major against the French Jammer and that means it's the power jam for Sausage Rolls gets through his first scoring pass. Five points, Team Australia starting to close the gap. Comes in a second scoring pass. Asselhoff tries to screen him across, but Sausage Rolls jukes to the outside, but gets caught by the three wall in the front. Has to draw back behind Scare and X, behind his wall of teammates. Now just splitting right the red, the blue sea of France to get through another Grand Slam. 10 points so far for Australia. Only 13 points separating the two teams now. French still in the lead, but Sausage Rolls on scoring pass number three this time just knock, just has his knees taken up from underneath him, excuse me, by Slash Gordon. But fights his way forward, gets around Spider Biscotte of Team France. To complete As you the can third. see as well, the French blocker being held at the back by the wall of yellow and green. And Killian David was on his initial pass. The sausage roll sees him rocketing out of the penalty box and instantly through the back calls off the jam probably a wise move yeah he does get four points on that last scoring pass i believe that is a 19 point jam for team australia and well waiting for this i believe there's just one more score update there it is 19 so now only four points separating the two teams uh, with 14 minutes just about to go, couldn't really get any closer at the moment. Rocket Bush for France, Skate Pilgrim jamming for Australia. Both jammers in the pack. Skate Pilgrim fighting through the back, backs, but it looks like Rocket Bush takes a tumble just coming up to turn two. And Skate Pilgrim has achieved lead jammer. The most, I, I tell you what, this was the most anticipated game, I believe, of the day. And the most competitive one as well. Rocket Bush, the jammer for Team France, stalking, stalking Skate Pilgrim. Skate Pilgrim on a scoring pass gets, gets knocked around by Braveheart and his teammates. Calls off the jam in the middle of the pack. No points for Team France, but it's critical. How, it did any point. It looks like only one point one for Team point Australia. Point, yeah. So that means now a three point difference, but France retains, stays in the lead for now. Sausage rolls jamming for Team Australia, number 11 in the yellow, and the cleaner, number 1631 for France in the blue. The cleaner runs into a three wall of Australian defense and forces his way past the, past the last line of defense. That is just incredible. Number 75 of Team Australia. Now on a scoring best, slams into that same three wall. Son of Skeeton, just incredible, and Rampage manages to put one, no, two points. Uh, wait for the official score. Yes, two points. Is as we said, it's difficult to see with these shadows. Yeah, that was two points picked up for France, none to Australia in that jam. And um, while we're here, please don't forget our sponsors today. One of which is Fast Girl Skates. Fast Girl Skates serving skates of all shapes and sizes since 2007. At the moment, with 12 minutes left on the clock, we have Killian David jamming for France, and for Australia, we have number eight Oliver Sutton. 
Killian David at the still at far at the back of the pack. Mr. Spew thought he had him and tried to draw him back, but Killian David nevertheless taken down by Luke Ritchie. There was a all over sudden, number eight going to the penalty box, but he's followed closely by the French jammer, Killian David. We're going to have a jammer swap out only about five or six seconds yep. served by each jammer before they return to play. So all over sudden, return to play, and right behind him, Killian David, who moves off the inside with like lightning. Now, of course, both jammers have gone to the penalty box, so neither jammer is eligible for lead jammer. So we'll just over a minute left in this jam as well. No call-offs. And Australia's jab is making his way out of the pack now. Killian David on his first scoring pass runs into Mr. Spew, who forces him out of bounds. He has to recycle. I think Killian David may, I couldn't tell clearly, but he, I think he may have been trying to pull off the jab or simply putting his hands on his hip to catch his breath a little bit. But four points already on the board for Oliver Sutton. That is going to narrow. They got to one point. And now they are neck and neck. And if, oh, all of a sudden, getting a back clock penalty, that means it's a power jam for Killian David. All of a sudden had the tying point in his sight, but he got that penalty. Now Killian David picking up four on his first scoring pass. Dodges around Luke Ritchie and Fuzz of Team Australia. Gets a quick five points for Team France. And looks like one of Team France's blockers uh, getting a back block there on his way to the penalty box. Killian David still making his way around the track. He's got four seconds left in his jam. That's his last five point pass. Time runs out in the jam. So a 14 point jam for Team France. Four points for Team Australia. I don't, it doesn't look like Oliver Sutton picked up any points on that second scoring pass before going to the penalty box. That brings the score to 58 to 43. 15 points separating the teams with just 10 minutes remaining in the game. 10 minutes remaining. Uh, please don't forget to tweet us uh, with the hashtag MRDWC. Let us know what you thought of the coverage today and the games you've seen. And also, why not tell us uh, if there's anything you would be interested in seeing more or less of tomorrow. Uh, I personally would like to see more beers. The cleaner of Team France shaking off a block and getting through for lead jammer. Slash Gordon and High G Nick dropping back. The blockers for Team France. And allowing the cleaner to deal with the three Australian blockers all by himself. Which he does so with but with relative ease of Grand Slam for Team France. Second scoring pass. Again, flaming the lock. Dropping back to bridge. Mr. Spew dropping back to bridge. But all of a sudden, the Team Australia Blue Jammer back in action and instantly picked up by Slash Gordon and Hygienic, the French blockers. But they're screened out of the way by Monkey Nuts and Flaming Gala, allowing their jammer through. The cleaner knocked about get a serious hip check from Flaming Gala, sends him out of bounds. He calls off the jam on one, on one foot off balance but manages to secure the lead. 10 points for Team France, nothing for Australia. So France beginning to egg away a little bit now. Point by point, slowly um, winding in that lead. And at the moment it is 06.20 a.m. in Australia. Um, and we'd like to say hello to the Aussie fans on Twitter, Jared King, Jess, Susie, uh, Susie Powell. And just as you say that, Skate Pilgrim number zero for Team Australia blasts his way through the French defense and gets lead jammer. Oh, and, and a big take down by the Australian jammer there. He's going to get a low block for that, so a scoring opportunity squandered for Team Australia, and now a power jam given up to the French, something the, the Australians can ill afford to do at this point. Dropping below eight minutes left in the game, and Killian David for Team France picking up another Grand Slam. Moves around second, scoring pass. Four wall from Team Australia, but Son of Skaten has to drop back to bridge. Still a three wall holding strong for Team Australia, but they lose another one. I believe that is just incredible. And then HP Shuttcraft and Rampage can't contain Killian David. He gets another Grand Slam. They did take some time off the clock, though, they holding did. him to 10 points so far. And at the moment, there's just under a minute left in this jam. Killian up against that 
wall of yellow and green. Big hit there, takes a the tumble, but it does look like the Australian blocker is getting sent off for that. I think that was a high block. Son of Skaten, number 505, going to the penalty box. In the meantime, Kelly and David picking up another five point pass, making his way round again. Looking a little leisurely now. Skate. Not sure if he's just tired or having a lovely time. Well, Skate Pilgrim is standing up, the jammer for Team Australia, so he'll be rejoining shortly, but right now, Kelly and David bending off just incredible and rampage to complete a fourth Grand Slam, but Skate Pilgrim gets through. He did it the hard way and actually slid out of the pack on hands and knees, but managed to secure four points for Team Australia. Kelly and David, though, on his fifth scoring pass, I believe this is potentially four points. No, oh, excuse me. No, he got five points for that one. Five points to take. That was another grand slam. Two frogs. But oh, France's lead uh, increasing ever so more. France at the moment on 93, Australia on 51. I do think at the moment the difference has been penalties. France quite often with a full contingent on the track. Australia quite often seeing their jammers being sent to the box. A fantastic effort by Ski Pilgrim to get another four points before the jam ended. So eight points for Australia against a 25-point jam for Gillian David of Team France. At the moment we have number one one jamming for Australia, that's Sausage Rolls and for France. We have one two nine Rocket Bush, but Sausage Rolls making his way to the outside. He's got a wall of blue up the front. He has main lead jammer. That is something that Australia has done very well. They've gotten their share of the jammers, I believe, but they've gotten, they've given up more power jams, and I think that has been the key to France's lead thus far. Sausage rolls, knocked out of bounds, has to recycle. Rocket push, number 129, getting through, gets all four, and now Sausage rolls falling down, stumbling in turn, in turn three. Falling off the jam as he does, so we have to, I think we have matching four points for scoring fast. And don't forget, uh, this amazingly exciting bout has been brought to you by Green Monster Roller Sports. All new. Visit us today at greenmonster.com. And lining up for Australia, once again, that is number zero, Skate Pilgrim. And for France, we have the cleaner. Their clock dipping below five minutes remaining in the game, and as you know, as you should know by now, the clock does not stop on this preliminary day of action. Skate Pilgrim pushing around turn two. He makes his way out as the jammer, but he is closely chased down by the cleaner. Both jammers now making their way around the pack, coming up against a wall of four for France, wall of three for Australia. Okay, that was a risky move by Skate Pilgrim, the Australian jammer. He slammed into one of his opponents, but managed to make it a clean hit. So that was some good precision, it was a, a precision attack. But it was still risky, could very well have given up another power gun. But it does look like that didn't quite pay off, and he has been sent to the box, I think. Yep, the Australian jammer is sitting in the box. So once again, this will be a power jam start to, Austra uh, to France. Braveheart lining up, 1789. Little snap of one in the France block is there. Looks like that was a full start, so he's going to be making his way back around the track. Gives his jammer a little high five as he goes around. It looks, oh, it looks oh. like they may have called it on the wrong player. The wrong player may have. It is unclear what is going on because we saw X Wing and Spider Bus both day reversing direction and now uh, now X-Wing going to the penalty box. It is, I'm, I'm, I'm not clear what happened in that little interplay, but Braver not letting it slow him down at all. No. He is the jammer for Team France and coming in on his third scoring pass in this power jam against Team Australia. And another Grand Slam it is. Braver coming in and just, it, what, I think, uh, was it you that was calling it a rhino? Or was that <laughs> Is he a rhino or is he a unicorn? <laughs> what was the alternative to rhino? Rhinos are your jammers that just barge their way through. Unicorns are pretty in France and have all the <laughs> lovely footwork. And it looks like we are having a team.